All right, guys, this is the 23rd of December. So let's take a look. Now, yes, this is gold in front of me. So let's take a look. Gold, I said yesterday the astrological hours for this was what? 11.52 from 11.52 until 1.24. And this is your 11.52, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. So you can see that nice U-turn coming in. And also, I did mention in the beginning of the week, for those who are in the club, let's take a look. Now, in the beginning of the week, on a Monday, right, this is your Monday's video, right, the video 20 December for the elite members, all right, and every Monday, as you know, I give the GAN swing days for this week as well, it's only posted on Monday, but you can see it all the time if you're in the elite group, I said to this on, all, what did I say, NASDAQ Tuesday and Thursday, swing days, right, gold 21st of December, and euro dollar, 22nd of December. So this is the 21st, right? And that's the low that the gold made. See, that's the swing low there. Okay. And from there, gold went up. So that's the 21st, Tuesday, Wednesday, yesterday, and yesterday I said 11.52, remember? Okay. And then that's the way up. Okay. So that's what you got to do. Just follow the GANs, follow the hours. You got the day, you got the hours, and just do it. Okay. This is financial astrology this is what financial astrology is basically all right so let's take a look at what we've got today now today's astrological hours are the four well we had the 5 a.m 4 a.m so that's over right 4 19 that's over so forget the 5 a.m bar it is now quarter past seven so by the time you get this video the 7 40 will be over all right so we're expecting a pullback um we should be at a retracement level when New York opens, and that will be a good time to trade. So 4.05 p.m. and 5.11 p.m. All right. So you can wait for those astrological hours, and it's really good to see the GAN swing days. You see how important that is when you understand that this could be the day. And also, you know, look, once again, look at this. Check this out. NASDAQ Tuesday 21 and Thursday 23rd of December. All right. So if we take, we're going to take a look at NASDAQ in a minute and we'll see how that went as well. All right. And Euro dollar Wednesday 22nd of December. Let's take a look at the Euro dollar Wednesday 22nd of December. Oh my God, this is Wednesday 22nd of December and what a swing that was. All right. So if you can calculate these beforehand, wouldn't that be great if you knew all that on Monday, that the market was going to make a swing, probably highly likely on a Wednesday, and you knew that on a Monday? That's magic. Not to mention the targets there. Okay, so when did the market start to turn? Look at that. 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, remember, we had the 11.52 markets turning. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, up, up, up and away. Remember those levels I did mark and the market, there you go, came right there. So with gold, pull back, go long again. That's how we're doing it. We want to go up, up and away. Okay, let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now with the euro dollar, I did mention these are going to be your sell levels. Remember, with the euro dollar, I'm expecting and up move, all right? So there, why? Because we've got structure here. Look, this is the structure for the Euro dollar. So I'm expecting, remember it broke out and I said this breakout should take us somewhere. And this is the first resistance, 36.20, which is 13.52. Is it worth selling at 13.52? Yes. Okay, so slightly up. And this is a good reversal zone. If it matches your astrological hours, this is going to be a good sell level. All right. Can it go up? Yes, I can, because I just showed you this is the structure. We want to go to this line. Okay, we want to go there. Go there. All right. So just draw your lines with me. If you're not into drawing, just draw them with me. That's where you want. Okay. Radio then. So that's that. That's euro dollar. Let's take a look at the US 30. Look, US 30, this is a resistance level yesterday. This could have been a possible sell level indeed. I did mark this level yesterday. Okay, why? Because it was a PST level. 
Okay, and remember, we're going with PSD. So the market pulled back. This is New York opening. Look, that's four o'clock and that's five o'clock. And I did mention 5.33, okay? 5.33, the market stopped there and then went up. Okay, so they pushed it down to take it up, all right? So what to expect? Look, we've got this line here, okay? We've still got that there. Okay, I don't know if it'll get up there, okay? But still, at the end of the day, this is like, you know, wherever we can, we need to sell it off at a decent level. Today is going to be, well, astrologically today, we've got a few things happening, but we should wait really for the US opening. All right, because yesterday was a busy day indeed at night as well. That's why we came to that top in the evening at 10 o'clock, 10.30, 10.50. And this could actually be a nice top there, okay? At 10.50, that's your 11 o'clock bar happening there. So the market is at quite nice places. And I did say we've got at 11.35, we'll finish the evening. And 11.35, it is right there. Okay, so as you can see that, is how that worked out for us, 11.35. So now we're at tops here. Um, we should have some retracement with the indices wait until New York opens and for those hours that I mentioned, okay? Um, I did talk about a Christmas rally before. You guys know that already. We could still be heading towards a Christmas rally, okay? Until the whole thing collapses, okay? So let's take a look. So what to do with this? Just wait till New York opens. If you're at a PST line on the daily, for example, sell it off. Match price to time. Don't just trade anywhere. Match price with time. Okay, because, because you guys are using ATA or ATAM, you know your technical analysis stuff, just do what you always do, right? Match your price with time and then trade it off you know what our direction is on these. Now then, let's take a look at this dollar yen. Oh, what dollar yen? Let's take a look at silver first. Now, if you went long silver, okay, you would have had a blast in all of these situations. Um, what to tell you, because I did mention the goodbye kiss here and you need to go long here. And I said, again, if it comes back to a support, you need to go long and that's just what's happening. Okay. So there's really nothing to talk about here. This is just doing exactly what we said it would do and astrologically as well. Right. So this is 10 o'clock my time. 9 a.m. on the platform, but 10 o'clock my time. This is 11.52. This is 12. This is 1. You see how the market is moving? It's just doing a nice and easy U-turn and just doing it. Okay, We're going in the same direction. And that's it. So not much to talk about, really. Uh, if it does pull back, you know, you want to go long. And I'm not sure if it will, but, you know, because it's got targets. So if you're in there, if you're not in there at the, at the right time, at the right price, then it just flies away. But you can always get in. You see, if you're using the ATM strategy, whenever it pulls back close to a level, whenever, you know, because you understand direction, the minute you pull back, bang, you can get back in, especially with astrological hours. And look, this pullback happened in New York. So I did say 5.33, and this is your five o'clock bar. And this is where your six o'clock opened up. So it was like, yeah, go in. You know what I mean? Because we're expecting to go up. So the market pulls back, gives us a perfect opportunity in New York opening. And then bang, it's just following through. Let's take a look at NASDAQ. Sorry, SP500 got carried away. So SP500. Now, guys, we're at a PST level up here. I did say, I don't know if it'll get up there, but if it does, that'll be a good level and that's where it is, okay? So we could be heading towards here and that's a good place to head towards, 
okay? Because seeing ourselves back at the double top zone is a good thing because that's what I was anticipating. It was in one of the, it was, it was in there on the cards, right? Because we've got an aspect at Christmas, all right? So that aspect at Christmas could push today up to those levels. And then that's it. Bye-bye. Let's take a look at pound. Look at that beauty go. Remember for weeks I was saying, guys, pound, we've got room to go up. We want to go up, okay? See how low that is on the PST. Never, never go against your PST levels, guys. Market comes down nice and easy, close to the blue line. Just over it, as you can see. But we're already expecting to push up. And what happens? That is nine o'clock. So the market starts turning 10, 11, 12, and it's just going up all the way there. All right. Same as the euro. So what to do? Oh, dollar franc. Franky. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember I said you can sell on your line. It didn't get to the PSD, but it got to the, that line. Why? Because you see, it's going to squeeze. It's going to break one way or another. And I'd rather see the franc down here before we start going up long again. So this is why I've been saying this is just not nice. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you can trade on and off your lines. So remember I said be mindful of this because if this breaks, we want to come down. This is exactly what I want. And if you've been watching the videos, you would have heard me say it on numerous occasions about Frank. We want to come down. All right. So let it roll. Okay. Because that breakdown happened on the weekly. So we should pop our heads down. Then we're going to get ready for a bicep on this one. If, if things go as I plan. All right. Let's take a look at the dollar yen. Same here. I said, this is resistance. I'm not having much fun with it. So we're going to wait for this one. You know, we're going to wait for a decent setup. And until then, we're not going to deal with it. Let's take a look at NASDAQ. <sighs> okay, NASDAQ, here we go. Now, in the members area, remember, I said on Monday, okay, I write the scan swing days for the week on Mondays. I said Tuesday 21 and Thursday 23. All right, these are the possible swing days. NASDAQ, let's see what happened on Tuesday, the 21st. Tuesday, the 21st, ladies and gentlemen. Nice swing. Okay. And now we're on the 23rd, which is a Thursday. And this is going to be a nice swing there. So waiting for the US opening could give us one nice swing to another beautiful swing. Oh, that's just lovely. And that is financial astrology working. All right. Now, the reason we do technical analysis is this. We could, we could be off by several hours, okay? But if I know my technical analysis, that is, if I know my PST pricing and I need to go long on a PST price, then you would have already been long there. So us on Thursday, having a swing high, is not a surprise, and that's your level. If it gets up there today, could be your lucky day. All right, so NASDAQ, if it goes up, match it to your astrological hours, and that is magic. All right, see you guys later. Guys, tomorrow, no video. Obviously, it's Christmas, right? Even if you're celebrating or not celebrating Christmas, I'd like to wish everyone a great weekend and a great festive season. Personally, I don't celebrate Christmas because I'm a Muslim, right? But to everybody who is celebrating, have a great Christmas as well. Have a Merry New Year as well. I'll see you guys on Monday and wishing you and all your loved ones, your family, a great Christmas and a great weekend. All the best.